Hi guys, so today I'm gonna review something that I was cleaning my craft room because I couldn't see my floor. Uh, there was stuff just everywhere and I was like, okay, this is getting ridiculous. Whenever I order things, it's just kind of piling up. So, you know, after the holidays and just being gone and everything else and, you know, getting the kids settled back into school. So now I was like able to concentrate on that. And I came across this thing and I also cleared up um, one of my this other desk I had in here, um, and I have pretty much all my machines on there, so I'll show that to you guys probably in another video, because uh, it's not the biggest deal. And maybe when everything's clean, I'll do another craft tour. I don't know. There's still quite a bit of things to be put away, but um, I came across this thing, and it's the P-Touch Embellish by Brother, and I had gotten it. I think it was a Today Special, and I looked on HSN on my account. I bought this July of 2018, and we're in January, almost February of 2020. But... It says it has so many uses, so many, you just keep it in the box right there. So, uh, I'm glad to have it. I mean, I can't return it now, so I know that they still sell, like, the different um, ribbons for them and tapes. So, it's basically a ribbon printer or, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, it came with, I think, only these four, hopefully. If it came with more than this, I misplaced them. But I know you find these refills, like, at Joann's. I've seen them. Or, no, Michael's. Um, but this one's a gold and blue ribbon. So, the ribbon is blue as it shows here, and the lettering is going to be gold. So it says on navy blue satin ribbon. So gold on navy blue satin ribbon. This is uh, black on white satin ribbon. And it's about half inch, it says, and there should be, it says 13.1 feet in both of those. This is a gold on red satin. And then they also have it so you can still use your regular, um, like plastic tape or whatever basically the tape they make so this is a black on a mint chevron pattern which is really cute i do like the the uh, it's patterned and they have lots of different patterns it has the um, numbers there so you can find different ones to refill with um when i looked it up the reviews on it basically just said like i can't believe it doesn't come with a um what's that thing called an uh, ac adapter so basically it runs on batteries but it does have a hole for an ac adapter if you can find one that's the right wattage and voltage and all that right just because it fits there doesn't mean you should use it you definitely need to look on it i've done that for other little sewing machines like little fun sewing machines that um if you pick one up um and it usually takes batteries you can find an adapter for it but it better be exactly the same and you'll see that on the machine or in the manual and then on the adapter it'll have the same information so as long as it matches up and it's the same size right the plug uh you're good to go so i just did my nails they're a little bit wet and i had blue polish on guys and it just like does not want to go away so around my cuticles might look kind of crazy and i apologize for that but i literally just <laughs> base coated my nails so they're a little bit wet um but let me see here so the reason I'm even doing this is because HSN still has it. I think, well, I know I paid $77 for the bundle um, and then, you know, tax. Um, and I now they have it for, oh, sorry, guys. They have it for um, $89.95, I believe. It might have different tapes, but um, it still has the same amount of tapes, basically. Uh, it just has this in the back. You think that would be wrapped around there? It's kind of odd. And then we have lots of information here, which of course we'll never read. And then um, we have uh, a tape that it does come with, which is nice. This is just white ribbon, it says. Um, maybe the lettering is gold. I guess I could read the packaging. It might tell us about that. But let me put this to the side. So I might as well look at this going. And then I was thinking about it. I don't know, man. <laughs> um, you know, it's not cheap but it's not super expensive i do want to show you the different fonts it has on there oopsie maybe i can't uh i'll do it this way sweet tea i don't know if that's the name of it i guess guest book and vanilla mint scrub no that's just <laughs> those are not the names of the fonts those are just the fonts so you can see them so the fancy one and more of a sans comic sans type and then one that has a um uh what do they call that oh man i can't remember Oh well, Comic Sans really means without those. It means without, oh sorry guys, without the little, um, like at the end of the vanilla, like the little tab, that like, you know, the little extra at the ends of the letters instead it's just justified. I can't remember the name. And then it says 14 fonts, so that's three of them. Uh, there's a few more on this side. I don't know. So we'll see. Sorry, I thought they only had three. That's why they were showcasing those. But no, there's some other ones. Oh, this is so cute. The stars. <sighs> All right. So what I was thinking, I'll probably use this for um, journaling, maybe. Just to make something cute and stick it on. Because other than that, I mean, maybe cards. So let's see the back of this thing and see what it needs as far as batteries. It needs three 
triple A's. Of course it'd be triple A's. I don't have triple A's right now. We just ran out literally yesterday, so I'm gonna have to go grab them out of whatever machine I put them in. It was a remote control. Um, I love double A better. It's like double A. We all use double A's. But let's, uh, let me go grab some batteries then and I will be right back. Okay, so uh, what happened is Miranda had a fever over the weekend, which is a bummer. I don't know if it's going around everywhere, but cough and fever. Um, I know another little girl, her friend had it, but she had it like weeks ago. So it must have gone around and came back around right to her. She didn't get it the first time, but she got it now. Um, and, you know, I had to put triple A's in her and the thermometer. Uh, we have a brawn and it, it's actually a really good one. And actually, now that I look at it, it needs six of them. Okay, I found a few more. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go buy some because this is too many. It does say it's a nine volt DC. So if you have something that's like that thicker uh, plug that does nine volt, I was looking at some of my other like little ones for like little sewing machines. Those are six volts. So I'm like, eh, it's not gonna work. It needs six guys, that is ridiculous, but okay. I mean, really one, <laughs> that's a lot of batteries. This thing better last a year, which I doubt, I have a feeling. Because especially that this thing runs on a 9 volt when my little uh, sewing machines, like the little kind of cute, you know, craft ones, use a 6 volt. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But, all right. Let's put these guys in. Okay, and then I'm just going to use the ribbon that's in here, because why not? The one that's already kind of open. And, oh, It has a really nice feel. I thought the back was going to be sticky or whatever. I don't know why I was thinking that, because it's basically ribbon that you can tie around whatever you want. So obviously the other type is sticky. Um, please remove before use. Okay. I was watching um, when I went to see about when I bought this or whatever. I was like, where? And the girl was telling you, it tells you right there, you know how to use it. And then something about being particular, but I don't know what. So I wasn't really paying attention. So I'm just going to pop this in here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's what you do. Obviously get your <laughs> ribbon in this little threading hole right here. Cause that's where it needs to go. Do you guys remember, I was thinking about this thing, I'm like, oh, I used to have, and I don't remember the brand, that's the only thing. Was it a brother type thing or P-Touch? Um, no, I can't think of the brand right now. But um, you would hold it and you would print on whatever you wanted, basically paper or ribbon or anything like that, and you would hold it, but you had to do it very slowly because if you do it too fast, the letters would like pull, it was just kind of weird. So you have to kind of roll with it in your hand. And I still have refills for it, and I even have the, I still have the machine, obviously, and then I had bought everything that goes along with it, which is like this ruler that it rolls on, so that way you have it nice and straight, and all these other things that were like extra. I don't remember the name of the tool. Do you guys remember? I'm sure you guys do. You guys always do. All right, so just pop it in. Pretty easy, right? It goes right through there. And what I'm curious of, because it's ribbon, and it's not going to be cheap, because, you know, it's not just ribbon. It's made for this. Um is like, let's say you just want some extra because you only want the word at the very end of your ribbon because you're gonna tie it on something, you just want the end to say something. So you're gonna have to print out or pull out a bunch of the ribbon that you're just wasting so that you can have the name on the end. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. So let's take this off because it doesn't matter now. It does have three font sizes, it looks like. Oh, this is weird. I told you guys I love to leave these things on here, but uh, here's a word, so we're gonna turn that off. Okay, it actually turns on, so that's good. Ooh, let me... Let me change up this lighting so that we don't have a glare. And then I'm gonna close up a little bit. And I'm not gonna do like, I don't know. It has frame, it has a pattern. Um, I'm not sure why it says ribbon. <laughs> so maybe I should look at this um, just a little bit because I mean, there's lots of, Oh, what is this? Okay, this is if you're French, you can put these things on here. Um, just to kind of help you out as far as remembering what these words have to mean and everything. So that's kind of cool. I think that's nice. Um, supply sheet. There is no quick like, well at least not that I see. Like getting started right now. No, no, you have to read the whole thing. <laughs> All right, let me see a little bit about this because I do want to see what the, why you have to click on ribbon or, you know, things like that. So I'll be right okay, back. This thing is a little bit complicated, but at the same time easy. And I just don't feel like uh, learning everything about it, I know. So let's turn it on. And it says you can um, go to the menu and establish the, the, the language and you can go to the menu and establish um, the measurement size. But I'm like, that's kind of weird. So hopefully you guys can see. I want this so you're able to see the, um, the f like what it's saying, right? The screen. I know you can mess with it a little bit too, but 
I'm just gonna hold it up like this, I guess. Actually, I'm bring this down. <laughs> I want you guys to be able to see everything that I'm pressing. So, what I think I wanna do, I still don't understand what the heck ribbon is for. Um, fonts, obviously frames, symbols, and you can see all those in that, this little guy. It has, you know, the basic symbols, um, which is really cute. It has like, even, not emoji, but like little cute little characters. Uh, I wanna try these little patterns, like this pendant one I think is adorable. You can also do um, two lines on the same ribbon or whatever. So I wanna kinda see if it can do the pattern um, or the frame, well, no, that's pattern, I hope. Let's see. Select category text, no, I want, let's see. Pattern, text, pattern. Nope, I guess I don't want patterns. Let's go to frame. What I'm trying to figure out is where you find this guy. Those are font samples, initial marks it says, and then frame designs. Let me figure this out, how to get to these little guys. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this thing back on. Um, initial marks are on this piece here, say number three, using templates, initial marks. So you have to, I don't like the way they have this set up. <laughs> okay, the way it kind of tells you how to code to there, but we need to press pattern. So I'm gonna press third pattern, and then a text, I'm gonna say okay, initial mark, Say OK, select design so you can scroll through the designs and then click OK when you're there. So I'm going to do the heart and say OK. And I'm just going to put Miranda. I want to see if I can do an enter on this one. We'll, we'll see. So um, capital M and then I R A N D A. It may be better if they were all capitals, but OK. I just typed in Miranda. Sorry about the glare. I wanted to see if I can do a second line. Oh, I don't think so. We'll see. Let's just print this thing. I, I don't know. It says label length. Sure. Um, this is odd. I'll just say okay. And then I'll just say print. Just to see. Yes, one copy. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh my gosh, that is adorable, you guys. Right? And then this is the thing. If you want it to keep going, um, I think it's this one. Is it feed? Let me see. Yeah, you can press feed and it'll just let it go a little bit more at a time so you don't have to cut it off and be so restrictive. So what I would do with that is I would just continue. I was pressing, let me show you. I was pressing the shift button and this preview button because it says feed and it'll just let the ribbon go out without printing. That way you can tie it or do whatever you want, right? If you want more of a length of it. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> like literally so you just press this button this tab here and it should cut yeah it didn't even feel like it cut guys it was so smooth but look how cute that is there's no way you can do a second um like what i was trying to do so let me go back and let's just um i like to make sure everything's cleared out so let's just i'm gonna turn it off <laughs> so supposedly like, let's say I want to write this time Miranda, so uh, Shift-M-I-R-A-N-D-A. The reason I'm doing this is because I can sew this into like her little sweaters or something because she's always losing stuff at school. And then press Enter and line two. So it said one before and now it says line two. Now if you want, because it says Miranda Luna, if you want to move over, because let's say it's going to be say Miranda, and then Luna's going to start at the same spot, right? Right under the M. Maybe I want it to be L-U-N-A, which is still a little bit off, but you know, let's just press space, space. Okay, so Miranda and then shift L Luna. And that's what I want to print, let's just say. So I think we're good. I'll just say okay. Actually, I don't even know how you go to this. I guess print copies one. Um, sure. And here it comes. And you can always take this out and switch it out for the next thing that you want to do. Look at that. So cute. It's very, really, really fine. And that is the largest, oop, let's focus. That is the largest setting, um, is what it looks like. Maybe I can make it even bigger though, to be honest. Maybe let's clear this out. Um, do, 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 clear, shift, clear. Okay. So shift and then the button that says clear. Um, and then we can just escape. What the heck? It did not clear it out. I'm just gonna turn it off. 
<laughs> you think shift clear because what you know mess with that? It's still there. So let's just uh yeah yeah. Let me find out how to clear this out because it should be something easy. Usually with the last one, all I did was press like that, like clear, clear, clear. Nope, it's just doing its thing. Nope. Escape that, escape that, no. Nope. Weird. Okay, let me figure this out. Okay, it says to press shift and BS, which is obviously backspace to clear it out, but... It looks to me text only, text and format. Okay. Okay, that's what it is. So shift this backspace and then it's asking you, do you want to just clear out the text or the format too? And I just said everything. So now we're back at number one. Again, this is where um, under the text, you can switch out to patterns. You can change the size. I just wanted to try this thing out. I'm not going to go through every single thing. Cause I mean, unless you guys um, have other questions about it and I can answer, I will definitely do that. But for right now, I just wanted to try it. <laughs> like bring this thing out and see if it was any good. Um, let me see about the tune line ribbons. Move the cursor. Well, we just did that. And then, oh, like I said, I tried to, I didn't try to center it, but I did try to move it over. So as you can see, it's not centered because her name is not perfectly Miranda under Luna. Um, as far as the seven letters and four letters, if it was like a little bit different, maybe we could have done this a little bit differently, but I had to choose, you know, <laughs> where to have two or five. Maybe I should have only moved over one. Um, I'm trying to read more things that might be interesting to us. Uh, there's tabs, there's margins, you can save the settings. I mean, there's all kinds of different things. I think I'm good. <laughs> I just didn't want to try I wanted to try it out. If you guys have any hints on how to use it, that'd be great. It does have a mirror print. Um, I'm not sure why you would want that, but I'm sure there's reasons. Um, but everything's pretty much on here. It's just very kind of a pain in the buns to like look at this and say, okay, you have to press enter, you have to press. So it's not really user friendly in that manner. But, you know, I've had a bunch of these little P-Touch printers and I've never really even gone past just whatever the basic thing is here. Oh, let me try as far as you guys might, might want to see a different font, huh? Let me see. Let's press font and say OK. There's Helsinki, Atlanta, Brussels, US. So you can scroll through them. Um, there are examples of them back here. Not there because that's just telling you what they have, but I don't know why their font samples are on this back sheet. They could have just written it there. Um, they aren't super different. Like a lot of these are kind of similar looking. Um, let's try, I mean, I don't know. Oh, let's try San Diego because I live in San Diego. Why not? So I guess I'm going to keep going. Belgium, Adams, San Diego. Okay. Accepted. And this time I'll write Dorian. Oopsie. Let me backspace, backspace. Shift, Shift Dorian, capital D-O-R-I-A-N. And, oh, you know what? Dorian could be a little, let's go enter. Let's give him one space. Shift L-U-N-A. And then we can print that. Because his name should be able to leave one letter on either side of Luna. Yes, that's much nicer. So Miranda's, like I said, is not, uh, because her first name has seven letters. You see how now it's perfectly centered, Dorian Luna. And then Miranda's is like this. Now, you know, the fonts aren't really, ooh, anything to write home about. Yeah, it's different. I don't know, it's like the biggest deal. Cute, cute, cute. So what I'll use is these, they'll probably like sew them into their clothes, like I said, whenever they're sweaters and things that they take. But look at this one, that is adorable. So if you wanted to print something like this, you print it, you just keep feeding it, feeding it, feeding it until it's long enough to tighten a bow and put it like in her hair barrette or something, you know, or. Uh, clip or however, um, you know, I would tie it up and at the end of the bow would be her name or something cute like that. But for now, I have to figure out something to use this for. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. You would use the other tape the same way, you know, just turn this thing off. Well, you can open it up and change out your, your cartridges. You don't always have to use this until it's used up. You can just pull this out. It still has the same little ribbon, you know, piece of ribbon sticking out. And then you just use that. You want to switch out to the other types. Put that one in. Just always put them away somewhere that they're not going to get, you know, damaged in the meantime. And um, keep going with that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that uh, showed you a little something about how to use it. It is a little bit intimidating, I'm not going to lie. And it's kind of, but I think once you start using it and learning it, um, this is kind of a generous keyboard. I've had other ones that are about the same size or like those longer ones. Um, but this is cute. So thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.